On a hot sunny day, Swat Jack was carrying a bucket full of ice cream. He was happily walking and eating at the same time. From a distance, there were two robbers walking on the road, chatting happily. <laughs> Suddenly, one of them saw Jack carrying a bucket of ice cream and pulled the other robber. They eagerly ran towards Jack. <laughs> Jack finished eating the ice cream stick and accidentally threw it into the face of one of the robbers. <laughs> <laughs> the two robbers intercepted Jack, demanding the bucket of ice cream, but Jack refused. Aye, give it to me. Uh, uh, never. Jack then ran away, with the two robbers chasing after him. Jack, running in fear, grabbed some bullets from the ice cream bucket and threw them towards the robbers. One robber got hit and dropped the bullets, then continued chasing Jack. <laughs> The robber rushed forward, and Jack, in fear, kicked him in the butt. The other robber also advanced towards Jack, but he dodged, so his stick hit his accomplice. The two robbers started arguing and fighting each other. Jack, watching from outside, laughed joyfully, eating ice cream and watching them fight. The two robbers turned around and threatened Jack with their sticks. They intended to hit him. But Jack ducked, causing them to hit each other instead. They were in pain. Jack turned and walked away, but the two robbers pulled him back and beat him up. Jack, in pain, watched the two robbers eating his ice cream. He longingly looked at the bucket, wanting to take it back, but the robbers stopped him. <laughs> Jack grabbed a stick and quickly ran away. One robber chased him, but the other told him to let Jack go. The two robbers stayed behind happily eating ice cream together. <laughs> Inside the SWAT base, Captain CLX was assembling a gun, holding another one and dismantling it. Two other SWAT members, Roll and Tony, walked in holding a strange gun. They entered Seal X's room and showed him the special gun they had made. Yes, sir. We just finished this gun. Sir. Hey, sir. Chicken. Sir, this gun is so beautiful. Yeah. Jack, in pain, headed towards the SWAT base. Remember me. He approached Seal X's room and overheard them talking about the gun. Yeah, good gun, good gun. No, no, no problem. Yeah, very good. Good job. Jack smirked and came up with a wicked plan. Roll and Tony were explaining the special gun to Seal X. Roll stepped out for a moment, instructing Tony to explain to Seal X how the gun worked. All right. Oh, okay, that's right. Mm. Boss, boss. Let me Jack eavesdropped from outside, listening to everything. Nice. <laughs> Seal X fired a strange beam that froze Roll in place, surprising Jack outside. Amazing. Sir, how do you feel? Uh, <laughs> Tony told Seal X to approach Roll, who remained motionless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seal X was overjoyed. <laughs> this gun is very special, sir. As you are seeing. Ah. Seal X asked Tony how to deactivate them, and Tony pressed a button, causing Roll to return to normal. Oh, 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 hi. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Are you okay? Jack outside had the intention to look at that special gun. The three people in the room prepared to move. Captain Seal X put down his gun, and all three left. Seeing this, Jack also sneaked into another room. Jack saw the three people entering another room and immediately sneaked in to take the special gun.
He came up with something and smirked. Ah. <laughs> the boss, Drilly, and his henchmen were walking along the path. Jack held the gun and looked towards the two robbers who had beaten him. He approached them. <laughs> the two robbers, seeing Jack, started to get up to leave, but Jack quickly shot at them, causing them to freeze. Jurley oh. also quickly hid in the bushes to observe. <laughs> Jack approached the two robbers, laughing loudly, <laughs> then took a lollipop from one of the robbers' mouths and threw it away. <laughs> he arranged for the two robbers to prepare to hit each other with sticks. <laughs> Jack took their ice cream bucket and walked away, shooting towards them to return to normal. He shot again to make them stop. What's up? Drilly and the robber observed, surprised by what they saw. Jack took the ice cream bucket and left oh. the two robbers standing there. Jurley came out, looked at the two robbers and stole their sticks. Jurley's henchman jumped out to block Jack's path. He asked Jack about the gun, but Jack pretended to offer him the ice cream. Ah, uh, uh, hi. <laughs> no. Oh. The henchman then talked about the gun and wanted to take it. Jack quickly threw the ice cream towards Jurley's henchman and grabbed the special gun, shooting towards him. The henchman froze in place. Ah. Uh, he went to get the ice cream bucket and left, but Jurley came from behind and hit him on the head with a stick, knocking him out. Jurley approached and took the special gun before leaving. At Jurley's base, his henchmen were playing around. <laughs> Drilly walked and laughed heartily because he had obtained the special gun. <laughs> Jack moved his hand and then woke up, holding his head. He cried out loud because his ice cream had spilled. <laughs> Jurli returned to his base and saw his henchmen playing around. He called them, but they didn't listen, so Jurli shot towards the three henchmen, making them stop moving. He happily approached to check on them. Jurli thought for a moment and then pressed the button on the gun. Everything returned to normal. <laughs> Jack 
Jack saw the henchmen return to normal and immediately took out the gun, shooting and killing one of them. The two robbers hurried towards Jack. Jack approached to take the henchman's gun and saw the two robbers running towards him, so he shot and killed them. <laughs> Jack remembered the gun and hurried off to find it. Some henchmen came to greet Drilly, and he told them about the new gun. Jack was still focused on finding Drilly. Uh, yeah. Jerly and his henchmen admired the special gun. <laughs> yes, Jack looked up from afar and saw the gun hastily entering the base. Uh -oh. He slowly went up and threatened Jerly and his henchmen. Uh, <laughs> Jack demanded the gun back, but Durley shot at him, but he managed to dodge. Durley ordered his henchmen to take the gun and fight. Jack saw this and ran away. The henchmen chased him, and Jack turned around to shoot and kill one of them. Durley ordered his two henchmen to attack, and they rushed towards Jack, shooting at him. Yes, sir. A SWAT member came out and shot and killed one of the robbers. Early pushed his henchman forward and shot the special gun at Jack, making him stand still. <laughs> Suddenly, the gun malfunctioned, and Jack returned to normal, shooting and killing the henchmen. Jack aimed the gun at Durley, but he was electrocuted by the special gun and fell dead. Jack immediately took back the special gun and took out his phone. 